What is up everybody? I'm no Lux Given back with some more Hearthstone Battlegrounds and today we are in the Golden Arena. All minions are golden, but you do not get triple rewards. Beast Dragons, Murlocs, Naga, Quillbore. These are some interesting change tribes, namely Beast and Murlocs, both down a peg. Curious, twice as nice is interesting when you can't triple. I I kind of always hate twice as nice, but I'm somehow considering it. But I think it's just got to be Zyrelia. It's an econ hero. The set to 2-2 two, two is certainly a drawback in a lobby where things aren't tripling. Because everything is going to be smaller as a 2-2. Two, two. So I think Zyrelia isn't as good as she normally would be. But I hate Varden. So I don't mind avoiding that. This allows me to roll for Shell Collector, unless, of course, we just find it. And I suppose See the Light on Shell Collector allows me to just pick up Tavern Tipper for free. She sells seashells. And I'm also noticing, so we didn't take that much of a hit on the Shell Collector. We gave it minus uh, two, minus zero. And I do not have the tracker loaded up. I'm actually, I'm not going to load it up for this game. I'm still playing these games on 1128. So as soon as the new patches drop. So the tracker is not going to be totally accurate for me. And I'm having a little bit of lag on my computer right now. I'm not sure if you're seeing this in the recording. My camera just shut off a few moments ago and my internet's a little bit shaky. So I'm not going to push it. I am just going to push it towards these minions. I don't really know what I'm saying. I'm picking up another Tavern Tipper. That's what I'm saying. Um, so I'm not going to load up the tracker. I'm playing this the same day that I've played the previous few videos, previous few videos, and what I was going to showcase on the tracker is that Rylek plus Shell Collector could go crazy. Could be a crazy option here, and I'm certainly going to at least consider it. I'm going to make some big tavern tippers, which I think is then going to give me the flexibility to get a little bit silly with this one. If I find another tavern tipper here, I am going to buy that, though. So we'll see what happens. Didn't use my hero power last turn. That's fine. I found two more shell collectors. Okay. So now I'm really, really incentivized to find a metalhead. This is free. Hero power on shell collector is free. I could just level up here. I could level up and then I could spend a coin. No. I am gonna spend a coin to pump up my tavern tippers, but I'm gonna pick up the last shell collector too. This also really cuts other people out of potentially trying to do this strategy. I'm not sure how useful that is necessarily. You can win this thing. But now I'm thinking like a third tavern tipper could go an incredibly long way towards me just pushing econ to the craziest. Unfortunately, rapid reanimation. Oh, it does give you. Oh, it does give you an exact copy, which gives you back the crab as well. Okay, so I was wrong with that. Still going to hit my opponent here for four and move up a little bit on the leaderboards here into third place. You're good at this. Not interested in these, but let's think. We can roll once, level up, purchase something, and still have an extra gold to sink into my tavern tippers. So I'm tempted. Could also go Swamp Striker plus Rock Pool Hunter. No, don't want to do that. I will pick up a Shell Collector for free. Could still roll. And just use a gold coin. 
Let's look for one more Tavern Tipper. I don't find Tavern Tipper. I could lose one gold coin to play another Shell Collector. Let's do it. This just makes so nobody else can find Shell Collectors. That's, that's partially the idea here. I'm going to start leveling. Next turn, I get to level and still have an extra gold left over. Ooh, hello, my fellow Tavern Tipper. Hello. You have not tipped quite as high as I, but I still, it's a welcome sight to see another tipper, and we will tie with our tipper friend here. And then I'm gonna level up. I've got seven gold, it costs six to level, so that will allow me to throw some coins towards the tipper. Uh, low flyer actually kind of slaps here, because I can use it to pump up all of my shell collectors. I can't, unfortunately, see the light on the low flyer. One other thing to consider is... Uslan Gladiator gives me a bunch of things, and what did I want to do with it? Huh. No, I actually don't appreciate having the taunt on a bunch of things, because I want Rylek Elemental to be what everything attacks into. So I'm not going to do anything. Next turn, I get to level and tavern tip again. So it's probably going to be the plan. Uh, it will cost me seven to level up. I will have eight gold. I did not plan this out. It, it seems like the econ is like rewarding me for doing the exact curve that I did. But of course, the gold coins that I have in my hand meant that I had a little bit of flexibility in terms of how I pulled this off. But... The plan is now to level up next turn, then begin to roll for Rylek, and then just yum, 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 yum. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I get eight gold coins for a single Rylek death. Oops, here goes my Naga. Not quite, not yet, but they're going down. There they go. And also there goes everything else, and we walk away with a tie. Silly combat. A lot of shell collecting going on despite me having this. Ooh, this is a big, this is a big boy. <sighs> no, I'm gonna do this. Let's get some better I could see rolling like once because finding the early Rylex seems quite massive. This doesn't really do enough yet. That's never really going to do enough. I'll roll one more time. Okay. No real rhyme or reason in terms of why I was or wasn't rolling, but seemed reasonable. I'm going to sink my coin back into the Tavern Tippers. I am the lobby leader, though Tess is certainly someone to contend with. Um... Plain copies, but they will still get gold copies because all minions are golden, even plain minions. So Tess is kind of interesting, but they won't get any of the stats on the Tavern Tipper. So they could refresh and then just buy five Shell Collectors. That doesn't really get them anywhere, though. I don't know why I did this. Well, that's because half of these were free, I suppose. I suppose it's all right. We'll give it to me. I uh, don't need this. Just straight up don't need it. One Rylek gives me eight gold coins. It's more than enough. And then once I get a bunch of Ryleks and a bunch of Econ, I believe the idea from there is going to be use that Econ to find a bunch of Banana Slammas. But I could be wrong. My opponent also has a large Tavern Tipper with just as much invested into it as I but I do think that this layout probably favors me, and I will walk away with a win. Five damage, uh, six damage against my opponent. Not that much, but hey, I'm still lobby leader. I'm still undefeated up here. Uh, one tie, so not spicy pretzel with mustard, but still a spicy pretzel nonetheless. Not going to buy another tavern tipper at this point in the game. Four blood gems is a lot. Uh, but our hand is going to be full up with other stuff, so I don't need it. This is really good. This is 
positive econ. Let's see what my random murlocs are. That's really good with Headless Hoarder. Alright. That's too many reasons to have Headless Hoarder that I need it. I do need to play the Rock Pool Hunter, get it out of my hand. Selfless Hero also kind of goes crazy. And here's Rylek. Um, so I don't want to have too many things in my hand. Like I said, Reborn doesn't actually do anything for me. Probably will just take Pashmar or Free Flying Feathermane. So I'm playing this. I'll play this for now. Just this is a good combo. And then I actually do have a full board here, so I suppose I take Free Flying Feathermane and then I turn this gold coin into Tavern Tipper. I think that this is beautiful. Um, there's no real great ways to pump up the feather main, except I could have used Sprightly Scarab on it while it was in the shop. So that was a mistake. But oh well. We'll see Rylek get to go crazy here. Wait, what? Oh, this is now anything. Oh, okay, well I guess I'm pumping up the free flying feather main. It's kind of awkward because it's 50-50 that I just miss. But look at that, baby. Look at that. That's awesome. I think we've completed that quest even. Um, definitely going to level up and then roll for Banana Slammas from here. That seems pretty good. I really don't need Heedless Hoarder or the Muck Man here either. So looking to get out of those things. Nice work out there. Yeah, Dire Muck. Don't really think I need that. Let's roll and I've got to use these coins. They're use it or lose it. Might as well take Primal Fin Lookout. It's free. I'll grab a Scour Fin to go along with Free Flying Feather Main. That seems better. And then I'll cycle through a Tad as well. Do I have enough slots? Let's just sell some gold coins out of here. We need to set, spend all of these gold coins every turn. Okay. Don't really care about those things. This is not that great. This is somewhat interesting with Scourfin and Dire Muck. But I think I just want to roll straight down for Beasts. Uh, I do unfortunately have Beasts. It is free to buy that, but yeah, let's just get me some Banani Slammies. This is free, as long as I don't run out of time. Oh, that was all supposed to go on Scourfin. Oh, well. Oh, wait, why did I play Free Flying Featherman? Oh, well, who knows? Lost a bunch of gold played my free flying feather main that I was not supposed to play. Now I'm scour finning up a banana slammer, but I'm gonna get eight more free gold this turn. I wasted five gold. I don't think it's really gonna matter. We're we're doing pretty well. I just have to not mess up like every turn from now until the rest of the game and I should be in an okay position to take advantage of this anomaly here. So some small mistakes we can get by Selfless Hero is actually very good. The Shell Collectors can help pop some bubbles, but Mama Bear is also kind of spooky. Yeah, I think we lose this one now. We need to clear all this stuff before we refresh their Divine Shields. And yeah, we're going to take some damage, unfortunately. Only six damage. I'm still Lobby Leader. I'm okay. It's going to be all right, but let's not let that happen again, why don't we? All right, let's put Free Flying Feathermane back in the pool, and let's put Banana Slamma on the board, um, in a moment at least. Kind of like Mama Bear. 
think I just want to find all the bananas, though. I did want Taunt for Scourfin. I should have hero-powered that. Um, I kind of like Selfless Hero as well. I could grab it for two gold. Alright, now I need to find Free Flying Feather Mains. Nah. This is free and can actually make you money when you find things like Tad. I'll take Belcher too. Running out of time here. Just nothing that can be done. Uh, too many cards in my hand. We're okay. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> um, but yeah, way too much in my hand. I'm gonna get one or two, just one more thing with Murazan. That's a monstrous McCall. Whatever. And we walk away with a tie, kind of embarrassing as well. And now I have less Econ. I can steal that whole board. That's somewhat interesting. Hawkstrider seems good here too. I like this. Let's grab it. That's quite the army you're building, friend. Hmm. I do want Primal Fin, I think, still. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. And yeah, now I am just gonna give these things taunt just to get these out of my way. Should have hero powered Primal Fin. That's fine. I'll grab Tad. Grab another Scour Fin. There's another Banana Slamma, so I am huge once I find a single Free Flying Feather main. Or now I can play just a single Beast in my hand and go crazy with that. I think that's going to be the play now. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. So now I'm looking for, like, yes, Neozao. Diremok summons Neozao. And I have to get all of this stuff out of my hand so it doesn't grief me. Hmm. I think that's right. So the only question is, like, would I want to play another Scourfin? Nothing scares me. Except nothing. I like where you're going with this. I just don't want these things. And I'll sink into Tavern Tipper. Alright, so I believe this gives me, like, the biggest Niazao you've ever seen. And then I just have to not have this get scammed, which means I just have to basically dodge Leroy. But this thing's going to get to attack and just wipe my opponent's board. And then Scourfin's going to continue to grow it up. I'd like to give Scourfin taunt again, even though I know it had taunt previously. And I guess I do fold to, like, any bit of scam, which is why I've got to roll hard for free-flying free feather mains. And then maybe I get out of Dire Muck eventually, because it is a little bit awkward, in that it can just summon a free-flying feather main. It doesn't always hit your highest health thing. It just hits a random thing. I'm gonna give opponents a lot of time to catch up with me, because I'm, like, showing everybody what I'm doing here. And that could matter. Positive Econ. Hmm. It's fine. 
kind of like making this thing big too. Alright, no longer have anything for Disco Shuffler, right? Death Rattles trigger two extra times. Can get pretty crazy with Scourfin. I do feel like I just want Free Flying Feathermane so I can't get scammed. And now I'm just like asking to get scammed, please. Do I play another Dire Muck Forager and cut both of these things? I mean, then I'm really asking to be scammed, right? <laughs> Jeez Louise. I scammed myself. I scammed myself hard there. Uh, that's annoying. I that, that was the worst thing I could have done, was played a full board. I do get the trigger on the... Oh, wait! Wait, what? Oh my gosh, it was Illidan! Illidan attacked! I'm a genius. Illidan attacked. So that their start of combat happened before my Dire Muck Forager happened. And I didn't scam myself. I actually made it bigger. I do get a Scourfin on this, which is unfortunate, but now I know. Like, I see what can accidentally happen if I'm greedy here and doing things towards the end of the clock. There's so much extra econ. Just let it go, no Lux. Let it go. You'll pick up the coin elsewhere. Now's about Niazau. I do think I should play double Dire Muck and find a second Niazau, though. So that it's just harder to scam me. Keep up the pressure. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Let's start by grabbing this. I think I'm going to have a big econ turn here to kick things off. That's nice econ. Sure, I'll take this. Oh gosh. Should have picked up the one that pumps up Murlocs, but that's okay. That one might make all the difference. I just need to find another Dire Muck Forager. And everything else that I'm doing right now is kind of just like messing around and gaining econ. Oh, I could have taken that taunt too. So I just need Dire Muck. Gives me another Murloc. These are rolls. Oh, here's a Free Flying Featherman. I do want that. Take this as well. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Should have sold this and put in Banana Slammer. Ran out of time again. But now I'm 50-50 to hit the Banana Slammer or the Niazau. Both of which seems great. My opponent's giving themselves a huge, huge Murloc in hand. Could be scary. And I do have to assume that they will probably have uh, Venomous coming out in a moment. And they're going to summon their whole hand here, which is three huge Bream Counters. Two huge Bream Counter. I still win this. And I get more Free Flying Feather Mains in here as well for 90. It's bigger than half my opponent's board here still. So I'm still doing good. I just want to find one more Dire Muck to muck it up. And we might be in the top four at this point as well. Above 30 health, it, it's a little bit of a bummer that I did lose some health, but I totally scammed that Illidan. And now at least I'm getting kills on the players that are seeing me do stuff, so I'm less likely, less able to get scammed going forward. Start off with some Econ. 
and then see where we can take it. What's this lobby called? The Golden Arena. Yeah, we're doing it. There's our Dire Muck, baby. There's even another Dire Muck. But the plan here is to play double Dire Muck, and then, like, three Banana Slammers. It's really all we can play. Uh, the more free flying Feathermans that I buy, the more likely they are to end up in my hand, ultimately. Or end up on the battlefield, rather. Brand's pretty insane, but I'm not going to worry about it. I guess I just want to give these guys taunt now. And I can't really come up with too much else. That would be good as well. But I'm just going to make some big things. I want to give, like, this taunt. Because I could give Dire Muck Forger's taunt. I don't think that that's worth the gold, though. Murlocs. Beasts. Beasts. Do you lock onto Murazand and then, like, hold on to it for two turns? I don't think so. That's kind of funny. Not going to lock onto Primal Fin Lookout here, either. I really just want Feather Mains. And I forget what else I want. Watch out. I'm not sure. Alright, this opponent is on scam. This is going to be tougher. Especially if I don't get my Nia's out. Because now they just have to scam two different characters here. Three. They've got to scam three different characters. Wait, no, they've got a 3k Coral. I just lose this and... Uh, there's actually no way I can win this. I have to scam them. Okay. No way that's lethal, right? Wow, that's lethal. Okay, incredible, incredible game. An unfortunate way to lose it. Um, but I think even if we got the Nia's out, we weren't winning that one. But I thought we were doing pretty good. That's going to be it for me, though, today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm no Lex Given. Peace.